Hey YouTube, it's Talk Tuesday, and today I'm going to share my thoughts on the Bamboo P1S and how the Iligu Centauri Carbon stands up against it after 30 days. And I won't be doing any Fusion 360, so this might be fun. Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Will. I'm a 65 year old man who has started taking up Fusion 360 to be able to create STL files so I can 3D print parts that I can sell as a print on demand item at Amazon and other types of platforms like that. So welcome to the channel. Today is Talk Tuesday. I'm not doing any type of fusion, but what I will be doing is comparing the Bamboo P1S to the Centauri Carbon from Eligu. I've got my uh, Centauris about a month or five weeks ago, and I've been printing pretty hard with them. The Bamboo I've had for gosh over eight months and I've printed the heck out of that thing so I, I love the bamboo but here lately I've really moved over to the Elagoos that there are a few things I like about it better than the bamboo and I'm gonna share those things with you but before I get to that I want to let you know that I am not sponsored in any way by either the bamboo or the Elagoo to be honest I have no sponsors so I'll give you my honest opinion about each one of the printers but before we get to that, I want to show you what my next project is. I think on Friday I'll be back in Fusion and I'm creating a shelf or a holder for my uh, oldest son's uh, medallions that he gets in the Navy. Every time he goes to the, uh, a new port or finishes a task or finishes a job qualification, he gets one of these medallions and he sends them home to me and I just keep stacking them up. But instead of just putting them off to the side, I think I want to hang them up and kind of honor them. So I'm going to be doing that on Friday and showing you how to create some type of holder. I'm not even sure how we're going to do it yet. Another thing I wanted to touch base before we get to the printers was I'm moving from three videos to two videos a week. So I'm going to start putting them out on Tuesday at two and Friday at two. This way I can put more into a video and try to get better content and get a longer watch time on, on my videos. So I just wanted to give you a heads up. So it won't be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, Saturday, but it'll just be Tuesday and Friday. Okay, so let's do a quick comparison of the two printers and what I think about each one of them and what I like and dislike about them. So the prices, likes and dislikes. The Centauri Carbon, $300. There is no pre-order anymore. Unlike when I bought it in April, I had to wait six to eight weeks for it to be delivered. Now you can just purchase it and it they ship it out within a few days. Uh, the same with the bamboo. Uh, if you order today, it would be shipped out within a few days and you would have it within a week. Uh, the two prices, the Centauri is $300. And that's a good price for a, your first printer uh, versus the $549 for the same type of printer that comes from Bamboo. Now, some people think that the Bamboo is just superior uh, as far as print and, and, and ease of use, but I've come to find out that the Iligu is a little better. And to give you, for instance, what I mean is the simplicity of it. The Bamboo has a big wall in the back and it covers up the uh, lead screw in the back so it can't be cleaned very easily. You, you have to literally take the back off of it to clean the lead screw in the back. Where the Centauri's, you don't have to do that. There is no wall there. You can do it all from the front. You can clean it and grease it very easily. So that's probably why it's taken me so long to even clean my lead screws. Uh, on, on the bamboos because it's such a difficult task. Uh, so that number one is one thing I like about the uh, Centauri Carbons. Uh, the ease of cleaning and lubricating the lead screws and anything else in the chamber um, is very easy to do. 
So that's one of the number one things I like about the Centauri is just the ease of the maintenance and to do the lead screws and all of that. The other thing is going to be the LED screens. Uh, bamboo's little inch and a half LED screen is just not going to cut it, especially after you use the five inch LED screens that are with the Centauri's. They just are so much easier to work with. The, the interface is just so much easier. I, the, to turn a light on on the bamboo, I have to go through two different menus just to get to turn it on. But with the Centauri's, everything is right there on the front screen. The lights are easy to turn on. It's easy to go back through your files and it, it actually gives you an image of your prints that you've printed on that printer. Another thing I like about the Centauri's is the flash drive versus the SD card, which is in the bamboo. The SD cards go bad. I've replaced three or four of them in the last eight months. But with a flash drive, it's so much easier. Uh, I have those just laying around everywhere. And I can actually remove it from the printer and walk it over to my computer if I just want to transfer a file that way and then plug it right back in and it gives you an image of your of your print and it's just a lot simpler interface I believe for the money okay so let's look at the prints and see how they turn out that one came right off I think they're exactly the same. Um, yeah, I don't see any difference. I wouldn't have known if it would print it off of a Centauri or a Bamboo. I wouldn't have known. So the prints are exactly the same. I, I don't see any difference in the quality. So overall, I'm a big Centauri fan. I've moved over from the Bamboo to the Centauri's, and I think I'm going to continue to be that route. I don't think I'm going to buy any more of the Bamboo's. But uh, yeah, that's about it. So if you're looking for a printer, you need one. It's 300 bucks. That's fairly cheap. I think the Centauri is going to outweigh the bamboo in the long run and you'll probably be a little bit happier and your pocketbook will be a little bit happier. I know I'm going to be doing a video on Friday doing a little bit of fusion, but until next time, I don't know what I'm printing, but I hope you're printing it with me. Thanks so much YouTube. I'll see you.